Hey guys, Mike Warren here, and this is video number one of two where I'm going to show you how to fractionalize a foreclosure property, a regular property that's not in foreclosure, a short sale, whatever you want to do. We're going to talk about that, but the first part is we got to acquire our properties. Now, there are a couple of considerations that you need to take into, into account. One is you want to decide, well, why do you want to fractionalize and what is fractionalize a short sale or a foreclosure mean? Fractionalizing a property is nothing more than, and I'm sure you have heard the, the, the phrase, a timeshare. What we're going to do is we're going to create a miniature version of a timeshare on a property. Now, typically, you want to do this on your higher end vacation type properties. You don't want to do this on a property that's in your neighborhood. This is not going to work for that, okay? But if you want a second home and you want to be able to use that second home pretty much any time you want and you want to have the property owned free and clear, where you can get, let's say, 5 to 12 weeks of usage out of that property, whether it's in the mountains, like I live in the mountains, so I want to ski. So you could use it in the mountains or you could use it in the beach. Either of those areas, that's where people like to go for vacation. So you'll get a lot of people who say, hey, I want to have a part ownership in that. Well, a timeshare, the way, the way a timeshare works is they take a property, they'll essentially sell one week to 52 different people. Okay, So they'll sell each week around the year. Uh, for that property and they'll sell it for a whole lot of money. So they'll take a property that, let's say a high-end $1 million home, they'll turn around and they'll sell that and they'll make five, six, sometimes seven million dollars out of that single property by doing the timeshare method. Now we're not going to sell it to 52 people. Okay, For us to avoid some of the timeshare issues and laws, we have to keep it under 12. So 12 or less we don't have any of the guidelines when we're doing a fraction. So we're going to break up our property into 12 segments. So um, technically, each person, or you, let's say you do 12 people, each person can break it down. Okay, so let's kind of do this on, on, up here on the, on the board. You're going to break this down into 12 different people. Okay, you could do less, but you don't want to go more. So we're going to look at 12 people. So each person, th this essentially means this is one person gets it per month, okay? So if one person is getting it on each month, which is cool, you don't necessarily want it for the whole month, right? You're not going to go on vacation for a month. But you may go four or five times a month to that particular property. If it's at the beach, you may go say, hey, you know what? I want two weeks in, in June, and I want another two weeks in August. Well, there's four weeks. That's a month. And, uh, you'll have some off weeks or floating weeks because some, some months have five weeks, some months have four, right? So, but kind of work with me. And you can work all this stuff out. I'm just trying to cover the basics. So you're looking at, you'll get a month out of that if you break it up with 12 people. Well, the way that I'm going to show you how to do this is that you can find these properties. You gain control of the property. You essentially sell off 11 weeks.